Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to read the psychrometric chart and also how to obtain the different properties of moist air. All right, so let's get into it. So what we have in here is a psychrometric chart and what we did is took an example of the indoor conditions of uh, uh, indoor conditions. Okay, so for example, the indoor conditions are going to be the following. The indoor conditions are going to be 75 degrees drive bulb and 50% relative humidity. So in other words, in, or, in order to obtain all the properties of moist air, you're going to only need two points. When I'm saying two points, this is going to be point number one, this is going to be point number two. When I'm saying points, I'm talking about thermodynamic properties of what? That would be moist air, of moist air, all right? Okay, so what are the seven thermodynamic properties of moist air? So let's put next to it. Okay, so the seven thermodynamic properties are going to be dry bulb, dB, wet bulb, relative humidity, dew point, a specific enthalpy, humidity ratio, and a specific volume. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so based on these inputs, you can have any input. You can have, for example, the data of humidity ratio, specific volume, and having only two inputs or two thermodynamic properties, you're going to be able to find every property of the moist air. Okay, so in this case, we took as an example the 75 degrees dry bulb and 50% relative humidity that is in purple so in purple what we have in here is this line this is 75 this is 70 right here this is 70 this is 65 and pretty much all the vertical lines are the dry bulb dry bulb so in other words this is going to be this vertical line right here is going to be called dry bulb Okay, and what are the units? This is going to be dry bulb temperature and the units are Fahrenheit. Or if it's in the metric system, it's going to be Celsius. Okay, so that's the dry bulb and that's going to be 70 de 75 degrees dry bulb right here. See, 75 degrees. Okay, so because that's my input data, 75 degrees dry bulb. The next one is going to be the relative humidity and that's the RH and that's called relative humidity humidity and that doesn't have any units it's going to be in percentage so the relative humidity in here is going to be 50 see 50 and then this one is going to be 60 percent this curve is going to be 70 80 90 until you get to 100 and when you go when you get to 100 that's going to be called the saturation line saturation line it's pretty much 100% relative humidity the odd okay since we since we have already the two points we have point 1 or thermodynamic property 1 thermodynamic property 2 we're going to be able to obtain all the properties and we're going to start with this which is hr hr is going to be humidity humidity ratio humidity ratio and the units are going to be pounds of wet or water or moist divided by pounds of dry air. Okay, that's humidity ratio. And the, uh, the humidity ratio is the line that goes to the right side. So all of these are humidity ratios. See, so for example, this is going to be 0 0.017. This is going to be 0 0.018 pounds of moist air divided by pounds of dry air okay so the other one that we have based on this point right here so that's the humidity ratio is wet bulb so wb it's going to be wet bulb wet bulb and the units are fahrenheit okay so all these lines all these lines are wet bulbs okay so now the other one what that we have is a specific volume right here a specific volume and the units of a specific volume are cubic feet 
per pound, which is pretty much the inverse of density, of density of air, okay? So this is gonna be all the lights of a specific volume right here, okay? So now let's go to the next one, which is uh, a specific enthalpy, uh, that's in blue, a specific, a specific enthalpy, enthalpy which is pretty much the heat. And that's gonna, going to be in BTUs per pound. As you made up notice, everything that is divided by pound is called a specific. So a specific enthalpy, a specific volume, and everything is specific, okay? Now we have the dew point on this side. The dew point, so from the point that is the intersection of our inputs, whatever goes to the right, is the humidity ratio and whatever goes to the left is going to be the dew point. See, this actually hits this part and that's what we call DP, which is called dew point. That's the dew point. And the units are Fahrenheit. So pretty much is that you cannot get more water, therefore there is condensation here. That's the dew point temperature. All right, and just a couple of the uh, facts more on the psychrometric chart. Uh, this was pioneered by Willis Carrier. Let's put that name in here because he's the father of air conditioning. Uh, let's put Willis Carrier, okay? And also that was also invented and it's a combination also with Richard Morier. All right, so it's a combination of both uh, the psychrometric chart uh, back in the 1900s. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video and then if you like, uh, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe and share. Thank you so much.